Hey, what's up there? I'm Cody the Coin Raptor, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about some very interesting Bitcoin predictions, and I'm also going to go ahead and look at our Bitcoin chart TA and explain what's been going on in the Bitcoin market. But if this is the first time you guys have joined me, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like, be sure to follow me on Twitter for the most up-to-date information. So today, Bitcoin has had kind of a wild day. We've noticed that in the past couple of days, we've seen some levels of extreme volatility. And today was no different. So after having a relatively quiet weekend, we actually wound up pushing all the way up here to about 31,000 before getting rejected and coming back down to support here at about 30,000. So Bitcoin has been kind of ping-ponging back between these two levels, 31,500 and about 30,000 since uh, the 21st of June, so a little over a week at this point. So right now, what we're looking at in the Bitcoin market is a market that's going sideways because there's not enough momentum in order to push it higher into this area of liquidation, this liquidity pool up here, and it's not enough selling pressure to push us below the vital support level of about 30,000. If we go ahead and take a look at the the perpetual futures market, what we've seen here is that our funding rates still remain green, so the longs are still in control. And if we take a look at our open interest, which is like the number of, of open contracts, we've seen that it's been mostly pretty quiet for the rest of the, of the entirety of the day until we get to about the end of the day uh, of the trading day, at least for the stock market. And we saw a big rise up in the open interest, signaling that you had quite a few people Quite a few traders opening new positions, and judging by the looks of it, they were long positions, and then they got to a point where the price couldn't go up anymore, and then they all got liquidated. So we saw uh, quite a bit of volatility in the last couple hours of the trading day. Now, what's interesting about this is that I've been doing some research about Bitcoin, and specifically with DCA, and I found some very uh, some fantastic information about Bitcoin DCA. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. This is from uh, Wicked on Twitter. And he has put together this wonderful chart that shows you, based on the number of daily reoccurring purchases, what your DCA would be like if you, if you bought for X number of days. So uh, the way to kind of read this chart is, let's say, if there were 2,000 days in which you bought Bitcoin, then your average would be about say $12,000 per Bitcoin, or your DCA average would be about 12000 Now, this kind of goes all the way up to uh, a point where it's where the price actually is right now, so just a little bit above 30000 And what that shows us is that this chart uh, gives us an idea of what the average Bitcoin would be like if you uh, spent a certain amount of time DCAing. And right now, we're at a point where uh, just... At, if you had DCA'd for any number of days, chances are you're going to be profitable. And so this is kind of the idea of, of what I've based my entire Bitcoin strategy around. And that is going through and buying Bitcoin at regular intervals, getting that dollar cost average down, and then over time having a, a profitable position. So this is a really cool chart. Definitely recommend you guys check it out. His name is uh, Wicked on uh, Twitter, and you guys can take a look at this chart. But it just shows you the power of the Bitcoin DCA. Now, next, I want to go ahead and talk about a prediction that was made by a bank. And this is coming from the Standard Chartered Bank of the UK. And they're saying that the target for the end of 2023 is going to be $50,000. Now, Bloomberg reported this, but if you search for the story, you can find it. But their target for the end of 2023 is $50,000 for Bitcoin, which is just insane. And then even higher, at the end of 2024, they're targeting a price of $120,000 per Bitcoin. Now, is it possible that Bitcoin could reach that? I do believe that Bitcoin could go to $120,000. But I don't personally believe we're going to get there by the end of 2024. I think that's probably going to wind up being a 2025, 2026 target. But they are very bullish in uh, the Bitcoin price for this year and for next year as well. Now, they actually say that the reason why it could potentially go that high is because uh, as the prices go higher, you could see less and less miners sell. 
and then that would also wind up adding uh, to uh, less selling pressure overall on the Bitcoin price. Now, the reason for this is because as miners become more and more efficient, you see less miners having to sell in order to meet their uh, the goals of you know paying their bills and, uh, and, and buying new machines and everything. So that could fuel, potentially speaking, a huge increase by the end of the year. And this would also be in conjunction with the halving, which is going to be happening at the beginning of 2024. In fact, if we take a look at what miner activity has been doing lately, we go here to the Bitcoin Miners Reserve. We can see that the Miners Reserve has actually been relatively stable. So miners currently are not selling very many Bitcoin. They've kind of they've leveled out quite a bit. So we've seen quite a bit of selling of miners in the past couple of months. We can see here in the past couple of months of 2023. And then as soon as we get to June, we've seen kind of an increase in the amount of miners uh, Bitcoin uh, in their wallets and they're not selling right now or they've kind of tapered off their selling. And so uh, in order for that article to, that prediction to be true, what you would need to see is a, a further reduction of miners selling as the price climbs higher. Okay, which is something I'll be covering. Uh, I always take a look at Bitcoin miners reserve, and if that does happen, and we do see an, inc an increase in the Bitcoin price, you know, fifty thousand dollars, let's say, I will be correlating that to the miners reserve and see how many of them are selling. All right. So we're also going to go ahead and take a look at another really important metric, which is the network hash rate, which is uh, uh, at a new all-time high. Believe it or not. It has actually gone all the way up to 404 exahashes per second. And this is showing us that the miner economy right now is incredibly strong. They're able to bring on new miners, uh, new uh, ASIC miners that are very efficient and continue to power the blockchain. So this is a very good environment for miners. They continue to push higher with that hash rate. And again, the hash rate is like the total uh, combined processing power of the blockchain. If we take a look at the the one year here, we can actually see that this uh, had gone all the way from about a year ago from 205 exahashes per second all the way up to here to well over 400. So it's doubled in a year. That's how good of a year that miners have had in the past uh, in the past um, you know 12 months because they've been able to buy uh, mining rigs at incredibly low cost. And on top of that, they're also be using higher levels of renewable energy. So uh, they are becoming more and more profitable and continue to bring more and more rigs online. Now, the last thing I want to go ahead and talk about is what's going on this week. So we have quite a few events going on this week in the traditional markets. And what we have here right now is the uh, primarily the thing that I'm looking at is going to be the core CPI, right? The Consumer Price Index. The core CPI and the CPI in general are going to be incredibly important for this week. Right now, the expectation for them is 3.1%. That's what the that's what's going to be. Um, that's what it's expected to be. And the last years or the last month's CPI was about 4%. So we would see a significant decrease in the inflation rate. And this is so important for Bitcoin and for crypto. Uh, because seeing CPI go down and seeing inflation goes down, going down means that the Fed can finally pause and stay paused or maybe even cut rates. And that is so bullish for Bitcoin. Bitcoin does not like a strong dollar and it does not like high interest rates. And if you guys are curious on, on why that is, I've made many videos covering the topic and I'm going to be paying attention to what CPI happens and what it what basically it comes out with and how that impacts the market. But usually what we wind up seeing is we see some extreme volatility around when CPI is released. That's going to be at 8.30 on Wednesday. Now, Thursday, you have jobless claims that's going to be coming out. That's pretty important. And you also have the producer price index as well. That it, Both of these two things, CPI and PPI, are going to determine uh, or help the Fed determine whether or not they need to raise rates further. And those are the two big events for the week, Wednesday and Thursday this week. And I expect both of them to be lower. If we go take a look at our independent trueflation numbers for the U.S., we can see here that approximately 2.44% inflation uh, currently means that we are headed down. And if you take a look at how this looks year to date, you can see that it's it's just 
like a, a complete slide. Okay, going all the way here from about six six point three percent all the way down to where it is right now, two point four four percent, and I'm expecting that we're going to get a good CPI number, a good CPI read on Wednesday, and a good PPI on Thursday, and that could potentially spark the markets and drive the markets higher on Thursday, both in traditional markets and the crypto space as well. And then, of course, if we take a look at our CME FedWatch tool, uh, now again, the next Fed meeting is going to happen on the 26th of July. Uh, we have a 93% probability of them increasing by another another 0.25% uh, or 25 uh, bips. And this could potentially go down depending upon CPI and PPI. If those come in lower, then we could see this go up much higher uh, where they're going to pause. I know they say supposedly that they're going to wind up uh, hiking. But if those numbers come in well, they potentially could be pausing. And again, very bullish for Bitcoin if they pause and especially when they start cutting. Okay, so those are the major events going on this week. And that's all the important information I wanted to share with you regarding Bitcoin and the crypto markets and what's happening. So let me know what you guys think. You guys think that CPI and PPI are going to be good this week? Uh, this week, do you guys think that Bitcoin could reach 50000 and then $120,000 next year? I'm definitely interested in hearing about it. Let me know. Leave a comment below, and I will catch you guys on the next video.